Greetings, folks. Uh, my name is Matt Bauman. I'm the Director of Applications Engineering at Julia Computing, and we love Pluto. Uh, this has been such a great day, and I'm excited for tomorrow. Unfortunately, I missed a bunch of the early talks, um, but I'll, I'll be excitedly looking back at them. And, you know, we see Pluto as just one of um, the best ways of, of getting folks using Julia. Uh, and, and as part of that, we, we really want to encourage Pluto's use um, throughout the ecosystem, but in particular on you know, what we're doing and, and what we're developing on Julia Hub. So my talk today is going to be relatively short. I want to talk a little bit about today, what, what you can do with Pluto on Julia Hub right now. What's coming, not necessarily tomorrow, but in the near future, I have some really cool features that, that we're developing that should make all of your lives a little bit easier and perhaps even uh, Marlene's life a little bit easier to, uh, to work with Pluto. Uh, and then a, a little bit of a snippet of uh, something we'll be announcing for JuliaCon uh, 2021. So Julia Hub uh, is, you know, our, our platform that we've been really working on a lot. Uh, if you've not been there recently, it recently got a big facelift and, and looks quite different uh, than what it has looked in the past. This is kind of the landing page when you're not signed in. As soon as you sign in, though, uh, we really want to, you know, get folks up and running as quick as possible. And so we put, you know, jobs and applications right up front to uh, to get get you working with with Julia and connecting into uh, either VS Code or Pluto uh, as kind of the two main ways that we see folks using and, and working with Julia. Of course, also on Julia Hub, you can, can go through and, and look at it, packages and, and you know, of course, find Pluto itself here. Um, but really what I want to focus on today is running of, of code and, and connecting to Julia. So this notebook that, I, that I'm running here, this you know, very simple outline, this is a Julia Hub application. Uh, this is not running localhost. This is actually running on Julia Hub. And it's an application that I've launched here from my main page. I've already connected to it. Uh, but I could even launch a new instance. Uh, and so you can choose how beefy of a machine you want. This is particularly effective if you, you know, want to do some, some sort of GPU computation or, or playing with that. You can actually you know, start a Pluto notebook in an environment that you don't typically have at home. We're also working on, on ways at which we can work with authentication, playing with making these sorts of things available to others. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But first, I want to connect to my Pluto notebooks. And you can see here that uh, we are currently running an old version of Pluto. We need to get on the, the latest version. We'll be updating that in a short order. Uh, but you know. Your, your main screen works well. And this actually works really nicely interacting with uh, our other interactive uh, environments. Uh, so we have available to us a file system uh, where we can you know, walk through our, our file system and have all the code available to us. And the code that's available to us here is actually the same code that's available to us from within the Julia IDE. So if you launch VS Code, for example, you can have a, 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 you know, the same file system available to you uh, on I uh, on VS Code, do interactive, you know, development here in cases where where you find VS Code to be work the best. For example, here, I have a uh, a flux model that I can train on MNIST digits with a convolutional neural network. I have this set up to work with CUDA and and kind of define a flux, you know, convolutional chain here. This is taken from the, the standard flux model zoo. And I have a very simple training script that just, you know, includes my model definition, trains it, tests it, and runs it. I can connect back into Julia Hub, submit this job, generate the weights that, that were needed in order to, to compute this, and, you know, 
then I, you know, this allows me to, to run this job so I can create a single process GPU job with either a, a K80 or a V100. I will use this current file. Once that's set, we can start this job and uh, we'll come back to that in just a little bit. But that will you know, run my model, train it on a GPU uh, asynchronously, right? It's spinning up a separate machine to do this. So I can continue iterating and working and playing with this. I can then go back to Pluto, right? And Within the same file system here, the same file system that had that MNIST code uh, from this demo site, I can go in and find a demo.jl uh, file that I have set up as a Pluto notebook within Julia Hub. I can launch that. And we can actually go in here. And I have this notebook set up to connect back in with Julia Hub's jobs table. Uh, so you can see here, I have a table of jobs that uh, allows me to kind of introspect the pre-trained weights of all of the uh, of the no of the jobs that I've trained. So, for example, I can select the most recent completed data set here, and I have a nice little. Pluto widget uh, that uh, Fonz helped me develop a few months ago that just interactively allows me to, to draw in digits and, and introspect the trained model that I trained on Julia Hub using batch compute with a GPU that I've connected back into, authenticated back into, can see my completed jobs, my current jobs. And in fact, if I rerun this, this cell here, let's see if this works, I should be able to see the job that I just submitted as currently running. Sure enough, there it is. I still need to localize the times here. Um, that's UTC time. But once that completes, I'll be able to download the new weights that I just trained and potentially with a different model structure, right? Different uh, different setup that allows me to, to play around with this and, and see, you know, are there, you know, weird cases where one model is doing better than another in terms of, you know, is that more of a six uh, or is this one more of a six, right? And you can kind of see, you know, how do these different models behave? Do they, do they actually do things slightly differently? Um, so this is how we envision folks using Pluto on, on Julia Hub and kind of interfacing back and forth between, you know, VS Code, a shared file system with computed and saved and stored results that allow you to, to look into and, and see what's happening. We also have some, so that's all available today. Well, the, the API to do this is still, uh, 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 still private, but we'll be releasing that shortly. Um, but this, uh, all of these these notebooks work nicely on Julia Hub right now. We also have some really cool things coming down the pike. So I have a beta version of Julia Hub. This is a, a secret version where where we have added in addition to, so let me go back to what is in real world today right now. If you click on this run menu, you get applications. You can you know see the currently running jobs. We have some data sets functionality and, and uh, download the old Julia Pro. Tomorrow or in the near future, we'll add a new tab to our run pane dedicated to Pluto. Uh, we think that this will be a huge benefit uh, to the community that allows you to organize your Pluto notebooks, upload them. Uh, you can upload a, a notebook, bring it in, uh, add it to this table of notebooks. And perhaps most awesomely is that we'll automatically generate HTML for you uh, that can be set to be public, uh, that you can publicly link to and connect to and grab out. So here is, for example, uh, the Newton method from the MIT computational thinking course. Uh, shamelessly grab this as a great example of a notebook that you can play with. Uh, Right now, these sliders don't uh, don't change things yet. Anyways, uh, that perhaps will be changing soon for some of these these functions. As uh, of course, uh, 
Fonz is, has been working on and, and making more HTML generation sorts of things happen. Um, but this you know, renders the notebook in HTML and allows many folks to look at it. And we'll be adding you know, buttons to launch this into your own Julia Hub environment on demand. Uh, we can then go on and, for example, you know, link to this notebook directly, uh, start up uh, the notebook and, and start it directly here and, and connect to it. And you know, you'll, once this starts up, you end up with the full you know, Pluto environment that is indeed live and editable and, and you know, can uh, evaluate Julia code. So this is where, where we see Pluto going within Julia Hub. We, we see it as, as being a, a core part of, of Julia Hub and, and enabling workflows like this, I think, is going to be uh, huge for, uh, for making Pluto you know, the, the go-to notebook for, for Julia language. The last thing that I want to talk about today uh, is a contest. Uh, we want to, you know, as, as part of the launch here, as part of, you know, making Julia Hub more full featured, in particular for Pluto notebooks, we're going to be running a contest. Uh, we'll have more details on this in, in the near future. But uh, the idea here is as part of JuliaCon 2021, we want to see some of the really awesome notebooks that folks can put together and importantly host statically. So that way we can uh, uh, view them and, and display them, kind of have a, a running contest. We'll, we'll have more details about that. Uh, as as time goes on, but I think it'll be a fun way of of uh, you know driving uh, engagement with Pluto and, and getting some some cool notebooks akin to what we've been seeing today, and what I'm sure we'll see many more of tomorrow. But that is Pluto on Julia Hub. Thanks, everyone. Wow, I mean, thank you, Matt, uh, on behalf of everyone watching. Oh my God, <laughs> that was very good. Um, it's so cool to you. Connor, what are you doing? <laughs> it's so cool to see all of this happening. Um, this, I think, is exactly what a Pluto user is looking for to be able to do this online. Uh, lots of questions from the audience. Um, maybe someone else can start. Uh, okay, I mean, I, I can start. Maybe it's too many people to, to call out. <laughs> um, so, um, so, so one thing that I found really exciting was this contest idea. And I think in general, something that's kind of missing uh, right now is kind of a public place where people can see what are all the people working on? Like, how do you work with this data set kind of like a, mm -hmm. a, a more public place for notebooks. Have you thought about this? Absolutely, yeah. And so I think, uh, you know, as part of the contest, we'll probably be making a dedicated page where folks can, uh, you know, make their, their public notebooks available uh, and, you know, list them out as kind of a, um, yeah, uh, you know, somewhat akin to, you know, when you start a, a Pluto server, right? When you start a Pluto server, there's these interesting sample notebooks, right? And having some <laughs> cool notebooks or a list of, of notebooks along these lines. Um, and and yeah, Julia Hub could be a, a, a great place to showcase that. Yeah. And so, so what we're seeing on the computational thinking course is that a notebook, you can also run it right there. And right. you didn't notice, but I'm guessing that once you see a static preview, you can also run that on your own account or something like this, right? Exactly, yeah. So that's not, we don't have a banner yet. So this is the static preview here, um, but you know, probably adding some, you know, a button akin to what, what's on the, the computational thinking course to, to just yeah. jump into uh, to JuliaCon, yeah, or to jump into your Julia Hub in, in an interactive environment. Super cool. Yeah. I think we should mention that. So we also worked a bit together. And yeah. uh, I want to like shout out to Aditya. He's the one at Julia Computing who worked I, alone. 
Aditya and, is he uh, has put in some very long hours this week trying to get this <laughs> together. So yes, this is a lot of work that yes, definitely really deserving cool. of a shout totally, out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I think so this is really interesting, like because um it's not just that you're deploying Pluto like we like we already had before, but to actually integrate it. And for example, I think getting your list of notebooks is on Julia Hub instead of the Pluto home home screen is mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah, um, and the, uh, what I like the most was the feature with the the, the results. How do you do? Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Yeah, so we can peek behind the scenes here. Um, so the the results table um, is, you know, we have a. API for connecting into Julia Hub called Julia Hub Client, okay. which is currently a private package, but we'll be making public in, in short order. Um, that allows you to okay, I can make my screen a little bit bigger. That allows you to grab out the current jobs. Um, you know, get the the history of jobs. Okay. Essentially, what it's pulling out here is kind of the the API version of our jobs table. Right, where you can can mm -hmm. see the the currently run jobs, but we also, of course, you know, as a as a Julia company, think a lot about APIs, um, and so you know, this is the API, and then it's just a simple table to you know create parse that data out, create the HTML that we need, uh, create a radio input, and bind it to the the URL of the results file that, that these these files have saved, um, and so. Then it's just a matter of loading it in um, and, yeah, uh, fiddling with whatever sorts of <clears throat> graphs or whatnot you want to have here. No, it makes super sense. And uh, that authentication thing is one of the five problems I listed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so one down. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, someone is asking. Yeah. Someone is asking yeah. over at YouTube. Uh, about the Julia version of Kaggle, would maybe the contest uh, would be the basis for something like that? The Julia version of what? Of Kaggle. The I, I think people on YouTube got excited with uh, ah. with the contest. Nice. Kaggle yeah. Is like a website. Oh has... right, Kaggle. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I didn't quite catch it. Uh, yeah. Right, I think there'd be lots of uh, of really cool things. You know, we we don't have uh, yet a, um, a targeted idea besides let's make something cool, right? Come up with a cool notebook, um, but doing something targeted with it, a data set. Um, you know, another thing that we're working on is you know providing public data sets or interesting data sets on Julia Hub as well. Um, so doing something Kaggle-like there could actually be really cool. Yeah, we're kind of open to, to what this, this contest will look like. We'll see where it goes, but uh, yeah, feedback there is, is really cool. All right. Um, thank you so much, Matt. I think we're all very excited to try this out. And thank you, Aditya, for working on this. Definitely. Um, yeah. And thank you guys for, for putting this on and, and building this awesome piece of software. It's great. Of course. Yeah. OK, so uh, we added one more thing to the schedule. Um, so every <laughs> week on Thursday at 6, we have a Pluto developer call. Everyone is welcome to join. and. As an invitation, we recorded like a little snippet of what it looks like to give you an idea of uh, what we talk about. And at the end of this, there will be a general Q&A. So questions like about Pluto in general, you can ask them during the next 10, 20 minutes, and we will answer them in the general Q&A. All right, thank you. <laughs>